What's up everybody, d right back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. Today we're going to be talking about an update that just came out the other day. The reason I didn't talk about it was because I thought that it was relatively insignificant, but hey, content, right? Yeah, for those of you that don't know, Void Interactive has started to do bi-weekly updates. We've seen about three of these thus far, and all of these have yet to actually update the supporter build so that we can actually try out these updates that are being presented. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get into it. The name of this content update is called Single Player and Co-op Level Art Lighting and Environment created by FAQ, their community manager. Props to that guy. He's literally the only one that's actually holding up this community at this point, in my opinion, anyway. I think I actually saw a funny uh, gif on the Reddit about it, but uh, I can't play it here for copyright reasons. But if I remember, I'll put a link down to it. But anyways, one of our principal goals as we strive towards the beta launch is to provide players with multiple fully textured levels through which not only will they be able to experience the full gameplay, but also get a taste of how the world of Ready or Not will be presented across its environmental storytelling yes for those of you that don't know ready or not is supposed to be big into environmental storytelling like you're gonna see a lot of things that are in the game itself and it's up to you the player to interpret what's going on in that situation i don't know if it's gonna be like in depth like you have to like look really close or if it's just gonna be something as simple as just looking at something and being like oh well this is a meth house but we'll have to see when we actually get into that part of the game anyways as mentioned on our first update we have recently welcomed a number of both environment and lighting artists with vast triple a experience i remember the investor always saying that ready or not was supposed to be a triple a experience i want to say that i believe them because i've seen a lot of uh cracks to the game i guess i mean when people keep sending them to me it's kind of like well I guess I'll look at them. What else is there to do? Open up my window and yell at someone? Like, I don't know. But anyways, whose talents have supported an acceleration in the pace at which we are able to produce art and bring our concepts into the game. Yeah, in previous updates, they said that they've actually hired a bunch of new people. So it seems like they're actually doing a whole lot of work just judging by these pictures here. It continues on to say, we want to continue sharing this progress with our supporters as we move onwards. And in this update, we will show more of the game's indoor environments as we go past the entrance of of the suburban meth house we showcased previously a level that supporters will already be familiar with yeah so we have already played meth in the supporter edition but we have yet to actually see it textured and this is what it's going to look like and i gotta say that i actually like the way that it looks well as textures go it actually looks realistic but just looking at the scene itself it's like damn these guys don't take care of these houses what is that fungus and shit Ugh. and then it goes into like a description of the level i'm assuming meth hints to the habits and lifestyle of the house inhabitants will surround the player as they delve deeper into each of the environments every room and prop telling a story about the level the characters and the world we also make very deliberate use of our intricate lighting system to guide players across each space such as this hallway leading to the house's living room and my god it's pretty obvious that these people don't clean up here or could give a shit about the house itself you know i've never actually grasped the concept of a meth house like is it just a place to go to you know do meth and nobody actually lives there i mean that's what i assume right like nobody actually really takes care of the house right they just kind of let it fall apart while they're doing drugs there's a thought it continues on to say with meth we wanted to create a grappling sensation of density and abandonment going from tight hallways that allow little space to maneuver to decayed and moss covered rooms filled with muffled air and dimly lit by low energy light bulbs and in this case an old and dusty crt crt what could that stand for a cathode ray tube wow that's what that stands for i always just called it a tube tv Huh, how about that? Well, anyways, again, I've played the meth map and it is very cramped. Although, you know, again, the map that we played isn't finished yet. So, I mean, we'll have to see what the finished product actually looks like when it comes out. But anyways, pushing on here. Besides setting the mood, lighting, or lack thereof, may also create or subtract opportunities for and from the player. A well-led environment will make it easier to spot a suspect, but will also reveal the player's position. While a darker environment may allow for a stealthier approach towards a hostile situation, this back entrance to the house enables a second entry point to the player as an alternative to storming the front porch oh stealth gameplay and alternative entrances neat i still find it odd how generally when i think of swat i think of like loud you know ramming through the door breaking it open driving a vehicle to the front like i never picture swat like being all stealthy and trying to like nab people or stuff like that just seems a bit odd to me but who knows it definitely gives the player a lot of choice here let's push on in situations where the player encounters multiple doorways and open spaces they have to be particularly mindful of any potential threat lurking in the unseen angles many lights in the game 
will be dynamic, however, meaning the player could disable them to create new opportunities and strategies. And that's pretty much where it ends there. So yeah, this one was relatively short. It didn't have a whole lot going on there. So I do have a bit of criticisms, but I will say that this is probably the first time that they really talked about the single player in co-op, at least in a while. And that's all fine and dandy, but if you compare this update to the previous update, when it was just nothing but multiplayer, that was a bigger update than this update. I guess what I'm trying to say is that this update feels really lackluster when you're only talking about lighting and textures when it comes to the co-op single player. And a lot of people are only here for the single player co-op. But I don't know, maybe I'm being a bit too harsh here. Like if you want to talk co-op single player, how about you guys show us how the AI are coming along? Like show off the units like commanding something, like a gif of the squad lead or gold leader, like issuing a command and they actually go up to the door and do the command. You know, show us where it's at. You know, something like that, right? Because this update is like the third update where they talk about meth. And to be honest, I'm kind of sick and tired of hearing about meth. Like if you're going to do a third update talking about meth again, then at least add gifts or something. You know, spice it up. Like reading through this update, there's a part where they talk about a hallway that leads to, I think they said the living room. Like have a gift that actually shows that like slowly moving towards the living room. And if you want to show off the lighting too, have another gif of the camera looking at the TV and you can see like the tube TV, uh, I forget what it's called. Um, uh, white noise, I guess it's called like moving, you know, you can see the TV moving as the lights are either like flickering or like really showing that atmosphere, you know? I mean, I guess I've played that map like so many times in the supporter edition that it's just kind of like, I just kind of want to see something different. Like that's where I'm coming from. And also this is all we're getting at this point. Like you've only gotten newsletters. Like we haven't gotten actual playable update to keep the players around and actually doing something. Like again, FAQ, he's trying his best, but without those updates, zero hour is coming out i guess so this is how i'm feeling right now bored out of my mind and playing something else like i think ready or not is gonna be a good game don't get me wrong but the thing that's killing it for me is just how there has been basically no transparency between us and the developers i don't know what they're doing i don't know what they're up to and i honestly don't care at this point they say that they're taking our criticism into consideration and i guess you can take that as you want but that's pretty much where i'm gonna end the video if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like ready or not be sure to like like, share, and comment down below. What are your thoughts on this update? Was it something that you found thrilling? Are you going to comment down below on how harsh I was on the developers? What are your thoughts of the future of Ready or Not? Let me know what you think down below. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know, you might find something that you like on the channel. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. It really helps. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.